Okay, so this is what I think you're trying to tell me. You want to subtract this little piece here, right? The area of that little piece here. So what you did is you first found the area of the big cornfield, like that piece was there. So you did 6x times, I think you added those together to get this side, which is correct, and you got 9x minus 2, right? And so then that gave you 54x squared minus 12x. So that would be the area of the entire cornfield with this little piece that doesn't actually exist. So the tricky part is in this expression, you do not know this piece here, or you could look at it this piece either way. You don't know what that is. However, you know from here to here is the same as x, y minus one. And you know this entire piece right here is x squared minus seven x minus 12. So what you can do is you can take this big piece, x squared minus seven x plus 12, and subtract this, this piece here, x, y minus one. So I'm just gonna distribute, I'm gonna subtract x, y, and I'm gonna subtract negative one, which is really just the same as adding one, right? So when you combine your like terms here, that's gonna give you what the length of that little tiny piece is. So that gives you x squared minus 7x minus xy plus 13, because your only like terms there are um, your constants. So now that's that little piece, right? So this expression is representing that little piece right there. So now I have to find the area of this piece here which is gonna be the little piece times the x plus six. So I'm now gonna do the x plus six times x squared minus seven x minus xy plus 13, right? So I'm gonna multiply that, that's now gonna give me the area of this. So when I multiply that, multiply everything by x first, which is gonna bring all your x's up one. So it gives me x to the third minus seven x squared minus x squared, I'm sorry, minus, yeah, x squared y plus 13x. Then I have to multiply all the terms by six, and I'm just gonna put the terms underneath. So six times x squared gives me positive six x squared. So I'm gonna put that under the seven x, negative seven x squared, because those are like terms. And then negative 42x, so negative 42x is gonna be able to get combined with 13x. And then you get negative 6xy, and then you get plus 6 times 13. 6 times 13 is 78. Okay, so now let's combine all of that together. That then gives us x to the third minus x squared minus x, x squared y minus 29x minus 6xy, I forgot the 8 there, plus 78, okay? So now that is the length, no, that's the area of this piece here. So now what I have to do is take the area of the big cornfield, which you said was 54x squared minus 12x, this, and I have to subtract it from all of this. Okay, so what I have is 54x squared minus 12x minus all of this, all of this down here. So all the signs are gonna change. So I'm basically gonna be subtracting x to the third, adding x squared. Now I'm thinking about adding x squared to 54x squared, so that's gonna give me 55x squared and then I'm adding this x squared y, which I don't have any x squared y's here. And then I'm adding 29x. Since you have a 12x, you can add 29x to the negative 12x, leaving you with 17x, right? And then adding 6xy, and then subtracting 78. So if you did it that way, this would be your area, which is quite a bit more complicated than what I did. So what I did um, is a little bit easier, and your expressions won't match. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're not equal because we don't know what x and y are. So 
it's hard to prove that. Um, so let's say I'm gonna just erase this. The, what I did is I put a line right here and then I found the area of this by doing 6x times xy plus 1, because that's that. And then I added it to the area of this piece, which would be x squared minus 9 times the x plus 6. So that's what I did. And you could look at my work there. Let me know if um, I totally was off about the way you were thinking through things, or if you're still confused about this problem. All right, I hope you're doing well.